first one was high school cover three. The ball was thrown down the middle of the field. He had a touchdown. And excuse me. The second one was excuse me, too. You talking about the second long one down the right? The second long one was a bus. It was inexcusable. It shouldn't have happened. Everybody knew where they were supposed to be. They weren't there. Can you explain why it's happening? I wish I could tell you. You've, you've talked in your press conferences about going over the mistakes in practice all week. Are, are you surprised they're still happening in the games? Yeah, I am. It's disheartening. It's disappointing. Is, is it communication breakdowns for the most part? Or, or just where they're supposed to be? No, it's not communication breakdowns. It's the guy knowing his assignment and doing it. How do you, do you, how do you keep benching a player or two? If that after continues we watch the film, that continues to come up. Yeah, there's alternatives that probably need to be taken if that's such the case. Do you have the personnel here to get it right? I believe we do. You know, everybody's got to do their own job. Everybody's got to look at themselves in the mirror and try to get something done. I mean, if you can't look at yourself in the mirror and take onus on what you did, then you're not the guy you thought you were. Where do you go from here if uh, those things haven't been working, getting the message across and seeing those things happening? You work and you go to film at the staff. If, if people need to be replaced, they'll be replaced. If not, you correct the mistakes and you move on. I'm not